deputy did not know who Ujiri was, asked him for a credential. Ujiri shoved the deputy out of the way, walked toward the court. It was the push heard around the world. But new evidence has been uncovered. Here's what we found. As time was winding down at Oracle Arena, there stood Toronto Raptors team president and dynasty destroyer Masai Ujiri in the tunnel, watching the Golden State Warriors' repeat title hopes evaporate into the thin and smoggy California air. Ujiri celebrated. But wait, look at this. Ujiri is seen in the tunnel holding a credential. NBC Bay Area ran the story, but watch here. Freeze it. Looky here. Yujiri holding his credential in his hand. So why would the Alameda County Sheriff's Office say this? He asked Mr. Yujiri for his credentials. Uh, Mr. Yujiri refused to produce the credential. He failed to show a credential? My man, it's in his hand. Masai Yujiri has a reputation. Yujiri is one of the finest people that I know. I believe he is incapable of uncivilized behavior. He's widely viewed as one of the most well-respected executives in the association, yet his character is being questioned by a sheriff's office who has a history of racism. In case you've missed our previous coverage, here's the skinny. Last night, the agency's official Twitter account retweeted Richard Spencer, who is live streaming a Unite the Right news conference. Yes, they retweeted white nationalist and Crispin Glover wannabe Richard Spencer. Sergeant Ray Kelly claimed he was trying to close the video, hit a bunch of buttons at the bottom, and one must have been the retweet button, which look, misremembering the account you're on happens. Ask media blowhard and FS1 co-host Skip Bayless, or even the Brooklyn Nets' Kevin Durant. The lie and cover-up are always worse, Mr. Kelly. The body camera footage and arena footage depict exactly what happened, Kelly said. Then why haven't we seen the body cam footage, man? Well, I may know why. We're finally close to having some sort of verdict on the killing of Laquan McDonald in Chicago. They held the police dash cam as long as they possibly could. He said that Laquan was coming at him with a knife, was facing him, moving towards him, swinging the knife at him. None of that is true. Come on, everyone, we know why. Evidence is usually withheld because you're being lied to. Because these departments do not want us to know the full truth because sometimes it's just too egregious or they're just playing at fault and won't own it. As our own Emma Viglin puts it, the fact that this officer did this to an estimated 100 people with his body camera on speaks to how confident police are that they won't face any consequences for their own criminality. Exactly. The Alameda County Sheriff's Office wasn't done with their bigotry. The department was sued in 2011 by a black driver who said he was racially profiled during a meritless traffic stop, an attorney with the San Fran Public Defender's Office. In 2016, Alameda County Sheriff Gregory Ahern co-signed a letter sent to Jeff Sessions, supporting his nom to lead the U.S. Department of Justice. There are many questions that we have to ask. Why aren't we seeing the footage? Why has this case, it appears, slowly died down? The history of the sheriff's department has already been displayed. We know what they have done previously, and we know what they're doing now to Masai Ujiri. If you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com Rick.